everyone today i will explain you about the concept of biomass energy so as we know that energy resources can be classified into two categories first is renewable resources and second is the non renewable resources so as we know that biomass energy is considered as renewable source of energy so before starting this topic what is biomass energy we should know the concept of biomass how we can define biomass biomass means the material the mass that is stored in living system that is simply biomass so many examples are there which we can consider for the biomass crop residues wood wood is the biomass manure sewage all these are the examples of biomass crops fruits vegetables all are biomass now how this biomass can be used for the generation of energy so we have two approaches first is the direct burning of the biomass first approach is the i again repeat first approach is the direct burning of the biomass and second option we have is the conversion of biomass into secondary fuel Con conversion of biomass into secondary fuel so now i will explain what are the benefits of biomass energy what is the concept and what are primary and secondary biomass energy resources so biomass energy how we can define this biomass energy means the energy which can be obtained from biomass for example if we collect wood and burn wood for the generation of electricity that is the biomass energy so if we direct generate energy after burning of biomass so that energy is known as primary energy resource primary energy resource means if there is no processing is there if there is no processing then that energy resource is known as primary for example the example of primary energy resource is wood no processing is required collect some wood and you can burn it out for the heating purpose cooking of food etc second we have the option that convert this biomass convert this biomass into secondary fuel example we have is the bio gas bio gas means generation of bio gas from biomass after some processing so that is the example of secondary biomass energy source now before starting the concept before going further we should know what are the disadvantages of biomass energy why it is preferred to use secondary sources for the conversion of biomass in, in the bio, biomass energy the first disadvantage is the is that it generates large quantity of smoke hai na first disadvantage of biomass energy is it generates large quantity of smoke it means that it causes pollution second disadvantage the calorific value of biomass is low low calorific value so for for these two reasons we first generally prefer to convert biomass into biomass energy and then we can use it now next is the biomass energy can be obtained by how we can obtain biomass energy here we have different options how we can obtain biomass energy the first option we have is the energy plantation energy plantation means simple concept grow more and more trees fast growing trees crops that store 
CO2 in the form of carbohydrates and the process is known as photosynthesis and we can use this plantation crop for the generation of energy so this is the simple concept that is the energy plantation hmm? here we have different examples cotton wood is there sugar cane is there you know second option second option here we have petro crops petro crops are special types of plants or crops which are grown for the generation of energy for the generation of energy products for example biodiesel you you have heard about biodiesel what is biodiesel hai na to biodiesel is generated from the plant species that is jetropha carcass jetropha carcass to jetropha carcass is a special type of plant having latex and the oil that is produced by this plant species can be used as di diesel so this is also known as biodiesel plant that's why this is also known as biodiesel plant so this is also the option third option is the fermentation very common process fermentation fermentation means conversion of any complex organic material matter into simpler products so here in this process fermentation we generally obtain alcohol alcohol from biomass alcohol from carbohydrate alcohol from starch for example sugar cane can be converted into alcohol potato this starch that is present in potato can be converted into alcohol so here we have two types of two forms of alcohol first is ethanol and second is methanol so these two forms of alcohols are generally used as a fuel in internal combustion engines either directly or after blending with petrol fourth option for the generation of bioenergy is the gasification so gasification is a new approach recent approach that is used for the conversion of any solid material so gasification is the conversion of any solid biomass into gas so that is the gasification now i will consider one example of biomass energy that is the well known example biogas hai na as we know that biogas is generated from the cow dung sewage or agricultural residues so this is the generation the process of generation of biogas is generally anaerobic anaerobic in nature here anaerobic means here anaerobic means the decomposition of biomass decomposition of organic matter in the absence of oxygen that's why we are calling this process as anaerobic process so here for the generation of biogas and we have this biogas plant so before this you know we should know types of biogas plants so generally we have two types of biogas plants first is the floating gas holder type floating gas holder type and second is the fixed dome type so this diagram is the fixed dome type of biogas plant fixed dome type means this part this uppermost part is known as dome so this is fixed made up of bricks concrete so that's why we call this as fixed dome type of biogas plant whereas on the other side if this dome is not fixed or made up of metal that may adjust its height according to the gas pressure inside the dome 
तो दैट इज नोन एज फ्लोटिंग गैस होल्डर टाइप तो सम टाइम्स वी कंसिडर दिस फॉर द जनरेशन ऑफ बायोगैस एंड समटाइम्स वी कंसिडर फिक्स डोम टाइप तो हियर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल हाउ द जनरेशन ऑफ बायोगैस टेक्स प्लेस इन दिस प्लांट तो हियर वी हैव थ्री पार्ट्स फर्स्ट इज द इनलेट चैम्बर फर्स्ट इज द इनलेट चैम्बर एंड सेकेंड इज द डाइजेस्टर दिस इज नोन एज डाइजेस्टर एंड थर्ड इज दर्ड पार्ट इज द आउटलेट चैम्बर तो हियर इन दिस इनलेट चैम्बर वी यूज टू फीड काउडंग एंड एच टू काउडंग एंड वोटर दिस मिक्सचर ऑफ काउडंग एंड वोटर इज नोन एज स्लरी सो दिस इज द स्लरी तो वी मिक्स दिस स्लरी मैनुअली or with the help of some motor after mixing this slurry moves down and enter in the digester of the plant here as this digester is closed from all the sides the conditions are anaerobic anaerobic means free availability of free oxygen is not there free oxygen is absent in this digester or very limited after several days some reactions takes place in favorable conditions what are these favorable conditions the best optimum ph for the anaerobic degradation of cow dung or the biomass biometal organic matter for this best ph range is 7 to 7.4 and temperature range is about 20 to 40 degree centigrade so under these conditions this digester produce biogas after the decomposition of organic matter so in this process first step is the degradation followed by second step that is the methanogenesis generation of methane gas from the degradation of organic matter and after 40 days near about 40 to 45 days we get bio gas now after 45 days this is a continuous process this is just like a continuous process here we are feeding continuously and here we are getting continuously bio gas now in this we should know the composition of biogas what are the main components of biogas because biogas because biogas is a mixture of different gases it is not a single gas remember this thing biogas is not a single gas it is a mixture of different gases so the main gases are first is methane second is carbon dioxide third is hydrogen fourth is nitrogen and fifth is h2s so main four gases which are present in biogas so main five gases you know which are present in biogas are first is methane remember this thing this is important part in this topic first is methane second is carbon dioxide third is hydrogen fourth is nitrogen and fifth is hydrogen sulfide percentage of methane is about 40 to 60% means that in biogas the main component is methane this is very important question sometimes it is a you know sometimes it is asked that what are, what is the main gas which is the main gas in biogas the main gas is methane which is about 40 to 60% second main component is carbon dioxide and it varies about 30 to 35% next is hydrogen 
it varies 1 to 5 percent nitrogen 2 to 7 percent and last hydrogen sulfide it is present in traces traces means in very less quantity so these are the main gases which are present in biogas now the last point related to this topic is the advantages of biomass energy or biogas advantages of biogas the first advantage of using biogas is it is first advantage of using biogas is it is eco friendly eco friendly energy pollution is very less because it is high calorific value in comparison to biomass the calorific value of biogas is high so this is also the advantage third point is the while the generation of biogas we additionally get manure this left out part is can be used as manure and this manure is very rich in N P K nitrogen, phosphorus and sodium. Pot potassium. Sorry. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Additionally, iron is also there. So that's why we consider biogas is a best fuel that we get from the biomass. So these are the points or this is the concept of generation of biogas and the biomass energy. Thank you everyone.